Hey, good morning everybody. This is Lucas here from Malusaka in Japan and in today's vlog, oh yeah, I'm together with Kuba. Um, in today's vlog, we are at Altsu Ski Resort in the prefecture of Fukushima in a city called Aizu Wakamatsu, so the closest city on a mountain, Bandai. So if you want to Google it, you can find it. Ski Resort is nice, fresh powder and we're going to hit the slopes. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we are our second day. Uh, first day I didn't record, I was just basically enjoying together with Kuba. And my wife and the kids are downstairs in the baby slopes. We are hitting the top of the mountain in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned, hit the like button, the subscribe button, drop a comment, whatever you feel like. I can always delete it if it's negative, remember that. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Show the weather. Yeah, check this out. couple of questions to you. Um, you did some skiing and snowboarding in the past in Europe, right? Yeah, in Poland only. Oh, only in Poland. So this here, Japan, is your first foreign uh, skiing experience, right? I'm skiing in the other country and I'm starting from Japan, so it's not bad. It is a good start, I'd say. What do you think? Maybe the weather is a little bit better. <laughs> what about the white powder? <laughs> no, no, really, it's so good. We haven't got a lot of people. You can check that. Only one guy is riding. <laughs> right now, on this slope, there's more people over there. So for a first time, uh, first time yeah, outside there, of the country there, there is a nice view. We've got the lake on the other side. Nice. Oh, it's really not bad. <laughs> okay. Well, so I have to take him to another ski resort, which is better, I guess. Ah. Next week. Um, anyways, uh, for those who don't know about this area, skiing in Japan is big. I mean, areas in Japan, right? Skiing, snowboarding in Japan is massive. These guys built in the 60s, 70s, and 80s held tons of ski resorts and hiking resorts, motorbiking resorts, uh, whatever you want to name it, right? There's a lot of it. The infrastructure is a little bit old, but they keep on modernizing it. They keep on making sure it doesn't break so it's safe. That's a very important part if you want to go snowboarding or skiing because you know it's got to be safe at the end of the day. The slopes are always really nicely pre prepared basically every day uh, making sure that all the molds and everything is gone. Um, weather, well it depends on climate not on the humans so there's not much people can do and what I personally like about the ski resorts here in Fukushima or Tochigi prefecture where I usually go with my family is the fact that there's not many foreigners coming because uh, like Australians or New Zealanders they usually fly into Tokyo or Sapporo because they have direct flight connections and they spend their time over there so it's quite uh, noisy loud crowded and uh, yeah we all know how Brits behave if they go outside of their own kingdom um, so it's not so yeah loud oh my god hold on guys check this out I hope you can see that on a camera thanks for pointing it out avalanche coming down it's spectacular. Anyways, at day, it's not so many foreigners. A lot of Japanese people come, but not many people from uh, Tokyo as well, because it's relatively far. It's oh. approximately four hours drive from Tokyo. So you'd have to book a hotel. You'd have to do everything that's related to it. For us, it's approximately two and a half hour car drive. Wait, to guys. Here. You don't yeah. know that I got it. That's <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah, I've got a camera, he got a beer. Balance in life. I uh, think that my that uh, my choice is better. Let's see what your parents say to that when I see this vlog. Oh, they understand English. <laughs> but your brother will translate. 
Anyways, a, a, a ski lift ticket is approximately 5,000 yen rental gear. Kuba doesn't have his own, so rental gear is another four, 5,000 yen. I'm not too sure. Plus a hotel, if you stay in a business hotel, that's another 5,000 uh, yen, sorry. So you've got 15,000 yen, 100, 110 US dollars, roughly, with today's exchange rate. And you've got a blast, you know, for one day, including staying overnight. And right now we're just gonna get off. So yeah, I have a bet going on because uh, we are traveling this year ah, to Las Vegas. Oh, we are traveling this year to Miami, sorry, not Las Vegas, with a group of friends from Poland. And I have a bet going on uh, that I can ride up the hill. So the idea is who is going to take a video and we're going to play it reverse. So he's downstairs waiting with his mobile phone and recording me going down and I'm going to go in reverse up the hill. Visibility is really bad. It's quite foggy, but it is what it is. Now I'll get to the lift. I hope I'm finding, I'm gonna find my wife and kids so I can go a couple of times with them downstairs, down the hill. A little bit of family, man, is also advised. Wow, it's beautiful, I love it. So I always wanted to try this. I saw this advertised on the internet years ago. Always wanted to buy, uh, get some, try some, but didn't want to spend the money. Let's see if I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> How is it? Climbing up the mountain is way easier. It's difficult, but everything for the first time is difficult. Yeah. I think once you get the hang out of it, it's gonna be significantly more fun to go down a hill yeah, than a snowboard. You can keep on going. Yeah? Yeah, go, go, go. I didn't know like, getting up would be so good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, baby. <laughs> Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. <laughs> Careful. Careful, Satyang. One step at a time. I feel like a cartoon character. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. It's <laughs> more fat. Oh, good. That's good, Kai. Look at the big smile on his face. <laughs> I stopped to hang out with my daughter, my son, and my beautiful wife. Remember, happy wife, happy life. It always works. I, I'm an expert in that. And we stopped here on the mountain because there's these things which you can like borrow for I don't know how long, whatever, uh, to try them out. I've seen them on the internet a few years ago and always wanted to give it a shot. And today I had the opportunity. It's a lot of fun. My daughter actually enjoys it, but we'll see how it goes. And right now we're gonna hit with the family, the big slope, which I just did with Cuba and uh, do a little bit more vlogging there with the kids as well. So stay tuned, let's keep on going. <laughs> but you fell earlier than me. Yeah. 
<laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs>